conflict on earth. When, the la when he opened the second seal, I, I heard the second living creature say, come and see. So I looked and behold, <clears throat> and behold, a red, a and behold, a fiery red horse went out. A fiery red horse went out and it, to, and it was granted to him who sat on it. To, and it was granted to him who sat on it to give, to, to take peace from the earth that so that men should kill one another with the sword. And to him was given a great sword. Third seal, scarcity on earth. Then when the lamb, when he opened the third seal, I heard the third living creature say, come and see. So I, so I looked and behold, a black horse and him who sat on it had a pair of scales in his hand, in his hand. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four living creatures saying, a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. Fourth seal, widespread death on earth. When he opened the fourth seal, I heard the fourth living creature saying, come and see. So I, so I looked and behold, and behold a pale horse and at him who sat on it was death, and at Hades followed with him, and to them was granted, and to them, and to them was given authority over, and to them was given power over a fourth of the earth, over a fourth of the earth, that they, and the, and that they should kill with with hung with hunger, with, with the sword with hunger, with with death and with the beasts of the earth. Fifth seal, cry of the martyrs. When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the for the word of God and for the testimony which they held, and they cried out with a loud voice, saying, "How how long, O Lord, holy and true, till you avenge our blood upon those who dwell on the earth?" And a white robe was given to each of them. And it was and it was said to them that they should rest a little while longer until both the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who would be killed as they were was completed. Sixth seal, cosmic disturbances. Now I saw when the lamb when the lamb opened the sixth seal, I saw I, I there was a great earthquake and the sun became as as black as black as sackcloth of hair and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell to the earth as a, as a fig tree drops its late figs when it is shaken by a mighty wind. And the sky was, was receded back as a scroll, as when it is rolled up. And every, and every island and ma mountain was moved out of its place. And then the kings of the earth, then the kings of the earth, the strong men, the rich men, the mighty men, the mighty, the, the kings of the earth, the strong men, the rich men, the commanders, the mighty men, every slave and free man went and hid themselves in the, in the rocks, in the caves and the rocks of the mountains and, and said to them, to the rocks and the, of the mountains, fall on us and hide us from the, the face of him who sits on the throne and from the wrath of the lamb for the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand? Revelation chapter seven, the sealed of Israel. Now I, after these things, I saw, the, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the sea, on the, on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried out with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth and the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or, or the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God on their foreheads. On their foreheads. And I heard the number of them that were sealed, 144,000 were sealed of, every, of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. Of the tribe of the tribe of Reuben, twelve thousand were sealed. 
of the tribe of Gad, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Asher, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of of the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Levi, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Issachar, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000 were sealed, of the tribe of Joseph, 12,000 were sealed, and of the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. A multitude from the great tribulation. Now, I, after these things, after these things, I saw a great multitude of which no one could number of every tri of every tribe of every nation, tr of every nation, tribe, people and tongue, people and tongue standing before the throne, standing before the throne of God and of the Lamb and before the Lamb dressed in white, white robes and with palm branches in their hands. And they, and they cried with a loud voice saying, salvation belongs to our God who sits on the throne and to the lamb forever and to the lamb. And then, and then I saw the, and then I saw angel, angels sta standing, uh, standing around the throne, standing around the throne and the, and the four living creatures and the elders and the elders fell down on their faces and worshipped God, and worshipped God, saying, "Salvation, saying, Amen. Blessing, Amen. Blessing and blessing and blessing and glory and wisdom and strength and honor and power and and might be to our God forever and ever." Then one of the elders answered me saying, who are these arrayed in white robes and where did they come from? And where did they come from? And I answered him, sir, you know. So he said to me, these are the, these are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and have washed their robes and have made them white in the blood of the lamb. Therefore they are before, the, they are before God and they serve him day and night in his temple and that him who sits on the throne will be will dwell among them and and will dwell among them and that they shall neither hunger anymore nor thirst anymore the, the sun shall not strike them anymore nor any heat for the lamb who is for the lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to to living fountains of water Revelation chapter eight, and God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Revelation chapter eight, seventh seal, pollute to the seven trumpets. When the Lamb opened the seventh seal, I heard. I when the Lamb opened the seventh seal, I saw the seven angels sta standing before God, and to them was given seven trumpets, and to them was given seven trumpets. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood before the altar. And he was given much incense that he should offer it with all the prayers of the saints. With all the prayers of the saints. And the smoke of the incense ascended before ascended before God from the angels from the angel's hand. Ascended before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with filled it with fire from the altar, and threw it to the earth. And there were noises, thunderings, lightnings, and an earthquake. So the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared, them, prepared themselves to sound. First trumpet, vegetation struck. Then the, then the first angel sounded, and hail and fire followed, mingled with blood. And a third of the, tre and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass, grass was burned up. Second trumpet. The seas, the seas struck. Then the then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain, burning with fire, was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the and a third of the ships were destroyed. Third trumpet. Third trumpet. Waters struck. 
Then the third angel sounded, and I saw a great star, and I saw a great star fallen from heaven, burning like a torch. And it fell on a third of the on a third of the waters, rivers, and and the springs of water. And a third of the rivers and the springs of water. And a third and a third of them. And the name of the star is Wormwood. And a name and the name of the star is Wormwood. And a third of the and a third of the of the water and a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many men died because of the because the the water was made bitter. Fourth trumpet. The heavens struck. Then the fourth angel sounded, and the, a third of the sun was darkened, and a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, that th so that a third of them were darkened, and a third, uh, and a third, so that a third of the day did not shine, and likewise the night, and like and likewise the night. Then I saw, then I saw an angel flying in the midst of heaven. And he cried with a loud, and he said, with a said with a loud voice, "Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the three, because of the remaining blasts of the three angels who are about to sound." Revelation chapter nine, fifth trumpet. Locust from the bottomless pit. And then the fifth angel sounded, and and I saw a great star fallen from heaven, fallen from heaven. And to him was given, and to him was given a great, and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And to him was given the key to the bottomless pit. And he opened the pit, and smoke arose out of the pit. And smoke arose out of the pit, like the smoke of a great furnace. So the sun and the air were darkened because of the smoke of the pit. Then out of the smoke, locusts came upon the land. Locusts came upon came upon the, the earth. And to them was given power, just as the scorpions of the earth have power. Just as the scorpions of the earth have power, and they were commanded not to harm any any tree or any any green thing, but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads. And they were not given authority to kill them, but to torment them for five months. Their torment is as of a scorpion when it strikes a man. In those days, men will seek death, and we will not find it. They will desire to die, but death will flee from them. The shape of the locust was like was like horses prepared for battle, and on their heads was crowns of something like gold. Was something like was crowns of something like gold, and they had and they had faces like like faces of men. And their, their hair was like they had hair like women's hair, and they their teeth was like lion's teeth, and their breastplates like, like breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was like the sound of many of chariots with many horses running into battle, running into battle. And their power was to hurt men five months, to hurt men five months, and they had as king over them the angel of the bottomless pit. In, in whose name is in Hebrew Abaddon, but in Greek he has the name Apollyon. The first word is past. Behold, still two more words are coming. Six, sixth trumpet, the angels from the Euphrates. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, saying to the, the sixth angel who had the trumpet, saying, Release the four angels who are bound at the river Euphrates, who are bound at the river Euphrates. So the four angels who had been prepared, who had been prepared for the day and the hour, for the day and the, for the hour and the day and the month and the year were, were released to kill a third of mankind. And the, the, and the horses and the, And I and the number of the horsemen was twelve was twelve was twelve million was two hundred million and was two hundred million and I thus I saw the horses in the vision 
and those who sat on them were had breastplates of fiery red, hyacinth blue, and sulfur yellow. And sulfur yellow. And the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions, and and out of their mouth came fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three plagues, a third of mankind were killed by the, by the fire and the smoke and brimstone, which came out of their mouths. For their power is in their mouths, for their power is in their mouths and in their tails, having heads and with them they do, for their tails are like serpents, having heads and with them they do harm. But the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues, who were not killed by these plagues, did not repent of, did not repent of the works of their hands, that they should not worship idols, of that they should not worship demons and, and the idols of gold, silver, brass, stone and wood that can neither see nor hear nor walk, nor walk. And they did not repent of their murders, sorceries, and their sexual morality and their thefts. Revelation chapter ten, the Revelation chapter ten, the the mighty angel with the little book. Then the then I I I saw still another mighty angel, clothed coming down from heaven. He was clothed with a cloud. And with a rainbow around his and with a rainbow around his head, with a rainbow around his head, he he had a little. His face was like the was like the sun. That was like his face was like the sun, and in and his and it, his feet were like pillars of fire, and he and his feet were like pillars of fire. And he, in his and he in his hand he held open a little book. He a little book was open, and and he set his left foot on the sea and his right foot on the land, and he cried out with a loud voice as when a lion roars, and when he and when he and when he cried out, seven thunders uttered their voices. I was about to write, but I was about to write, but I heard a voice from heaven saying to me, "Seal up the things which the seven thunders uttered, and do not write them." Then I saw the angel whom I saw standing on the sea and on the land, and he rose and he raised up his hand to heaven and swore by him who lives forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are in it, the sea and the things that are in it, and it, the earth and the things that are in it, and the sea that are the things that are in it, that there should be delay no longer, but in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel. But in the days of the signing of the seventh angel, the mystery of God would be finished as he declared to his servants, the prophet. John eats the little book. The voice, and then I heard the voice, the voice which I heard from heaven spoke to me again, saying, go, go and take the, the book, which is open in the hand of the angel, uh, open in the hand of the angel. So I went to the angel and said to him, give me the little book. And he said to me, take it and eat it and take it and eat it. It will make your stomach, it will make your stomach bitter, but it will be as sweet as honey in your mouth. So I took it and I ate it and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. But when I ate it, it made my stomach, my stomach became bitter. And then, and he said to me again, and he said to me, you must prophesy again about many peoples about many peoples, tribes, peoples, nations, and tongues, and kings. Amen. Thank you.